to get underway thanks to coolturf.com.au. Bendigo Thunder out there a good five minutes before the umpires are ready. They're ready to get it back on. Ready to make it happen here at the QEO. They lead by 33 points. The Bendigo Thunder balls up in the air. Ballarare's in there for the ruck. For the Thunder, it's Cochrane. Gets a little kick forward. This is nice and quick. Walsh is out in front, tries to get the ball. Brings it to ground. Out there too was Bianca Jones. She runs into the youngster from Diamond Creek and the ball will be thrown back in. Yeah, there's a rotation. I didn't see Ballarare into the ruck, smashes it forward. Cochran runs onto it, quick kick forward. Besides get, kicking the goal, it's the dream start. It is indeed. Ball thrown back in. Up I might say to the youngster, throw that one again for his buddy. And he will. Ryan's having all sorts of issues here. <laughs> it can't see off camera. Ball comes back in. Ladson wins the contest. Oh. Little kick off there from Cochran. I'm happy to help you out, but when the ball's on the other side, I'd appreciate if you get your gear together. Uh, Got my gear together now. Just Brian just sorting himself out. The, there's a bit of niggle, a bit of pushing and shoving just around the, the stoppage here. His players trying to sort themselves out. So ball thrown back in. And Bice picked out a free kick. It's probably what he needed to do anyway, I would think. No, he's just being a bit pedantic with Very pedantic, right? We were sucked up a minute here in the game. Off hands. No one in particular has got it as I snort. Don't know why I did that. Here's Cochran. All Diamond Creek there and the mark's been taken. Good mark. You never know what's coming to keep your eyes on the ball. Kick's not great though. And it'll be Yasmin Colley that takes the mark for the Bendigo Thunder. 55 out. They're little things we talk about. Well done, Cochran, the caller back. Gets a kick, it's not a great kick, and the mark's been taken by Ballarare. Made it look good. Yeah, exactly right, Ballarare. Mate. Yeah, it's trying to do the right thing there. Came off the side, but Ballarare in the right place. Short good pass little is pass. on. Walsh is there, can't take the mark. Humpai says that was legal, so ball will be picked up by Attard. Gets a kick away, all thunder back here. If uh, they can get near the ball, it was uh, Watkins. Gets pushed out of the way. Ball in dispute, all all I can see are there's red and blue jumpers. Marshall Barclay gets a strong tackle. I think Diamond Creek would be happy with that. Yeah, Thunder had the numbers, but they worked hard, Diamond Creek, to get the stoppage. They'd be happy with that. As the ball comes back up. Oh, it's back here goes for a few hands. And Olivia McAvoy tried her best, but couldn't do it. So another throw up for the yeah, game. There's no real changes in, in match-ups. Besides Ballarare being on ball. That's it. Ball's thrown out the back here. It was Watkins that overrun it. The umpire's picked out a free kick. It's going back to Diamond Creek as they get it going really quickly. Smith's out there with Wilson. Wilson had it for a second. It was Flanagan that went in there. Here's Ballarare. Gets through about five Diamond Creek girls with ease. Looks at the kick. The kick's actually a pretty good one. The mark's taken by Watkins. Oh, just caught one a bit high. Very, very lucky. Very fortunate, but I like the intent. I love like Ballarie. You can't tackle it. Here's Jarks. Kicks on there. Bibby should be running into it. Doesn't. Stop for a minute. Here's uh, Walsh. She got one in the back. The umpire says no. It was in the side. Good, good work by the umpire there. He explained while the ball was in, in uh, motion. So, umpire's going to come in and throw it up. I'm not sure she had the football though, but anyway, um, good, good for Rossi. Hands off. Jarks is in there for the Thunder. Here's Cochran, back to Baldwin, couldn't get a handle on it, goes in after it again, taps it out. Flanagan comes in and says, right, I'll try and Shepard, and she does, well done. And here's Bianca Jones, can you get to the ball? Taps it in front of herself, she'll get a kick if she can. Probably going to have a shot at goal here, Ryan's up on the right foot. Walsh is back there. She's got one to beat if she can. Takes the ball. Puts it out in front of herself. Says she doesn't have it. The umpire says no. And the ball will be cleared. Back out there towards Lizzie Watkins. Got two to beat out there. If she can hold this up, it'll probably be a, a victory for the Thunder. Does well. Gets in there again. Needs some help. Bibby's in it to help. Tackle's on. The tackle is on. And that one is holding. No, it's not. Well done, though. Watkins just held it up to the player, right? While she... Don't throw the hands out. Just... Keep your head over the ball. Madsen got the tap out. Bibby went over the top of it. Picked up out there by Diamond Creek. 
There's the ball out there by Watkins. Can't get there, so they'll throw it back in. No addition to the score. Sucked up nearly five minutes into the third term. Uh, Diamond Creek, uh, uh, they don't kick the first goal in the second half. See it hard for them to win the game. Off hands, though. Barclay got a kick away. Here's Carrot. Does a good job for the Thunder. Had a good game so far. What's she going to do? Likes what she sees out there in Jark. She's got two to beat, though. If she can get the ball, get a kick away, it'll be a good result. Handball was on. Yep, two to beat. A little bit difficult. She smothered well. Came back for a second go. But they clear now Diamond Creek out towards Barkler. Hands off to Barkler. Goes back and gets it again. Good work. Kick wasn't great. She goes in after it again. She's got one on the scone. The umpire is OK. Come in and throw this one up. It's dangerous, but it's positive, you know. It was good play by Barkler. Brought it to the ground <laughs> and then followed up. <coughs> Ball thrown up now. Ballarera is in there, chases after the ball. Yoandis tries for Diamond Creek. Not going anywhere. The umpire will throw this one up, I reckon, again. Should be any time now. We had a good chat last week off air about where Ballarera should play, and I said centre half forward, and you said on ball. Well, she's played both today, so coach has been very smart in getting the best out of her for, for, for the side. Indeed, she does. As the ball goes towards the boundary line, Olivia McAvoy couldn't get there, so they'll throw it back in the Bendigo Thunder. Goal in for the Diamond Creek, though. They're kicking to the Barnard Street end of the QEO, the Savo. So they go again. Yoandis, did she get rid of it? How did she get rid of it? The umpire said it's all right. She says that one's all right, at least he's letting it go. But that's not going anywhere. No, the ball's just stuck out there at the moment. It's very, very congested. If Bendigo can get it, I'd like to see him just take the risk and switch it and bring it into the middle. And Diamond Creek do have a, light, a loose behind the ball, about 40 metres behind and in the centre. So click up the line or, or run and carry. Perry's loose for Bendigo Thunder, outside forward 50. Throwing back in Ladson. Oh, hang on. The umpire's paid a free kick here. What's it doing? What's he doing here? Uh, it's more pedantic boundary umpiring, I think. No, he has paid the free. Free kick is going back to the Thunder. It'll be Ladson. Where, it was in the where market. Where is the advantage rule No there? idea. Must have been in no the rucking out. competition. She takes off Ladson, kicks it into the middle. At the back there was Balassini. Couldn't take the ball for the Thunder. Uh, Diamond Creek runs straight into a host of Thunder players. We've got a free kick here. For in the back. So the ball will be coming back here to the umpire who gives it back to Diamond Creek. Good defensive zone. Perry's the loose. You'd prefer a taller option. Barclay gets the punch away. Only as far as uh, Florio. Little kick off the ground by Papalo. And they go through it. Watkins goes for the Thunder. Perry's in there, tries to get a handball away, goes as far as Baldwin. Ball was smothered off her hand, she goes again, little underground handball. Perry's in there, and also Barkler, that kick didn't go too far at all. Baldwin gets tossed off it, got some numbers in there. The Thunder though, Cutrus gives it to Wilson. Wilson gave it to Bellarare, who had a little uh, circus act with it. No one's chasing her, so she kicks it forward of the wing. The runners have got to come here. Collie needs to make a contest of it, did well. Pushes it forward. Smith for Diamond Creek. Got a little tap away to her teammate in Leisha. In dispute on the outer side. Phoebe Cutrus is out there. And I tell you what, great play out there by Fennick. Very quick. Barkler tackles the, takes it on. Great kick too. And it'll be... Out in the half back, Cutrus that'll uh, take the mark out there. But gee, I tell you what, that was a good passage play from both good sides. Play. You're just attacking, defending. Kicks short oh. in a contest. Some numbers with uh, the Bendigo Thunder there. It was Ballasini, never didn't go anywhere in particular. And um, Paul come in and probably throw this one up. Bendigo Thunder seem a bit more handball happy today. They're trying to handball out of trouble rather than that quick kick, which Diamond Creek. They figured them out last week. So they go again. And Pye's probably going to go and throw this one up as well. 
Thunder have come with a different game plan this week, knowing that Diamond Creek would have a loose one behind the ball, so they're handballing out the back and looking for a better option. Good tap. Ball's tapped out, Bellaray gives it to McAvoy. Handball's on to Hay. Hay to Ladson. Needs to kick it and does. Big contest out there for uh, Carrot. Can't take it. The umpire said it's play on, though, and I tell you what, that girl's on her wheels out there, Morgan Curry. Good wheels. Push towards the boundary line. They'll throw it back in. Probably got her wheel serviced at Ultra Chain Kangaroo Flat, Brian. It probably did. Big ball, Terry. <laughs> Ten minutes gone. Third term. But, yeah, Bendio, we saw, we saw in that package, passage just a couple of quick handballs and Ladson, Ladson's out, and they look far more dangerous. Throwing back in. Ladson's had most of the kicks here. Most of the, uh, the tap-outs. Bibby takes the ball from McAvoy. She's got a paddock. Kicks it quickly. Yaz out there. Yaz Collie, that is. Does well. Decides to get going quickly. Little kick is on if Bibby can make it. And does. Much better from the Thunder. Kick wasn't good. Got pushed off it. It'll be a free kick, I think, up the field to Hay. Yeah. Good passage of play. Wiggy. As Dennis committee would say, that's un-Australian. Bibby came off the bench. No one, no one followed her to the bench. And then she ran hard and followed up and got a good kick. Collie... I don't know if it was just to try something this week, but she, she looks like a natural forward. She's very smart about how she goes about it. But yeah, good good hard running by Bibi as well, the, the support. Ball's thrown back in. Ladson gets it out of there. Ball's not going anywhere particular. Hay will try and do something. Here's Balleret. Handball is on. Ladson tried to get it. Got it again. Tried to get it again. Little handball out. Mm, was close to a throw. Picked up there by Attard, only goes as far as Bianca Jones. You got Ballarat and for it. Attard, oh sorry, not Attard, and Ladson down there. I'm not sure what the umpire's doing here. We're not, we're not sure what that's about, but anyway. You can tell me, Wiggs, you work it out. Uh, See maybe, out side. maybe something was said. That could Perry. be all it, all it could be. Here's Barkler, got a shepherd, good shepherd from Perry. Ball goes out here, it'll be a victory if we can go over the line. <laughs> Barclays had a real impact this quarter, she's doing the little d defensive things, but it's also rebounding well. Oh, uh, no score since half time in this game, either side. Hasn't been a bad quarter though. Taps off hands, lats it in there again, little handball out. Tried to go again. In there was Radnell, does get it, good oh. pace from Radnell. Gets on the right boot. It's a good positioning of the ball for Walsh. And Jackie Radnall needs to get her teammates around her for that. That was sensational. Walsh, he plays on. Goes towards the goal. Goes and real Walsh, how about that Thanks. for the Thunder? Get around Jackie Radnall. That was fantastic. Yeah. They're playing more positive. Thunder brought in some leg speed this week. Smaller, quicker players. Cochran, Radnall, they're quick. They take the game on. Quick used to while she while she it's not used to one on one she's used to one on twos one on threes and that one on one she's a she's a competitor she's a ferocious competitor and as you can see a very good kick for goal uh that's the one that really breaks the game open it's hard to see diamond creek when they're competing hard thunder are playing the better football this week though so we go again go on nearly 13 minutes into this third term tap out is on good tackle by cochran in there in dispute. Ball's coming out. We hope it is anyway. Jarks fights her way, gets a little kick away, but not before the umpire blows the whistle. But they, they look dangerous in the midfield. There's plenty of run and pace, and when they need to lay a tackle, they need to lay a tackle, but their, their hands are clean. Throwing up again. Gladson again. You wouldn't believe it. Lots and lots of tap outs. Here's Cochran. She'll get a kick, and she does. Bibby's back there, pushes her opponent out of the way. Should have taken the mark, doesn't. Great tackle. Smith is in there for Diamond Creek. Picked up by Jarks, and I reckon she'll snag a free kick because she was first to the ball. Oh, Cody's just got to be... Oh. It's nearly got to be 25 Cody's there, you think. Cody's got to be careful there. Good kick, too. Mark just taken by McAvoy. Just let the Delivers it. Balleraire, 45 out. A of frustrations in the game. She centres it. Walsh is back there. Can she take the mark off hands? Here's Collie. And another goal to the Bendigo Thunder. 
Holly, uh, I honestly didn't see her move forward this week, but everything she's done down there has been brilliant. She's contested, she's brought the ball to the ground, she's, she's hit teammates with passes, she's been in the goal square when you needed her there. She just looks like a natural forward, she knows where the ball's going. When you play back, you do learn to read the ball sometimes, you push forward, got a freedom to go chase the ball, and and she's doing well. Well done to her. Little Sharks, she's 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 fight. She she's tough. She fights hard. She gets under the skin of a few people. And nothing wrong with that. Here we go again. It was Alicia that got the tap away for Diamond Creek. Little kick away there from Gamble. Goes towards the forward line. Perry's the one in front. Picked up though. Great tackle by Barkler. Umpire says that might be a push. And yes, it is. So free kick will come back here. Bendigo with all, a lot of numbers behind the ball, so they're prepared to work both ways, which is good. Very slow. To... But so. they've got the zone back there, Bendigo. There's no loose targets except for the one that's been left all alone. Evans <laughs> gets a kick it. back there. Good numbers for Diamond Creek. And not good defensively by the Thunder. No, when you've got that long to set the zone up, and they had a one-on-one -on -one and basically no body laid on it. 